Here's a quick example of how to find probability from the normal model. And this is a word problem, it's a real life situation, so hopefully um, this will help you. A Ford Focus manual transmission gets an average of 24 miles per gallon in city driving with a standard deviation of 1.6 miles per gallon. A focus is selected at random. What is the probability that it will get between 26 and 28 miles per gallon? Between is a key word there. Assume the gas mileage is normally distributed. That's important too because if it wasn't normally distributed then we wouldn't be able to use the normal model. So let me draw some things on my normal curve over here. I know that the average is always in the center and in this case that's 24 miles per gallon. Um, I want to know what is the probability, uh, let me write this up here, what is the probability that my random variable x is between 26 and 28? So that's the probability that I'm looking for. What's the probability that x is between 26 and 28? Well, let me draw that on my graph as well. 26 is going to be right about here, 28 is going to be right about here. So 26, 28, and I want to find the area between them. So if I draw this picture, give me a second, there we go, and I shade between them, this is the probability that I'm finding. Well, one of the thing, reasons it's nice to draw a picture is I can tell that this is definitely going to be less than 50%. So that's kind of a checkpoint for me. All right, I have to change 26 and 28 into z-scores. And once I change them into z-scores, then I'll be able to use my calculator to find this green shaded region. So let's start with, uh, let's start with 28 since it's, well, let's start with 26. 26 minus the mean, which is 24, divided by the standard deviation, which is 1.6. <clears throat> Let me grab my calculator. That's going to be 2 divided by 1.6. So here we go. That's 2 divided by 1.6, which is 1.25. Here we go, 1.25. So this z-score right here is 1.25. Now let's go with 28 give myself a little bit more room, and that would be z equals 28 minus the mean, which is 24, divided by 1.6. Again, I'm going to jump to my calculator. 28 minus 24, I really didn't need the calculator to get 4, divided by 1.6 is 2.5. So here we go. 2.5 is the z-score for 28. 2.5. All right, now I'm going to go to my calculator and find the area between them. I'm going to use second VARS number 2, which is normal CDF. I'm going from 1.25. I always want to give the left boundary first and then the right boundary. So 1.25 comma 2.5. <clears throat> when I hit enter, there is my probability right here, 0.099. So if this was a word problem, and it is, I would want to write my answer as a complete sentence. So instead of saying, what is the probability, I'm just going to say, the probability that, I, that the car will get between 26 and 28 miles per gallon is about 9.9%. I just like to write my probabilities as percents. You could leave it in decimal form, but either way is acceptable. Hope this helps and have fun in your stats class.